Why the freak do they have beach chairs and stuff out if it's all covered in snow? I'm not swimming in that pool. Hey guys, Captain Fructose here, and welcome back to our frozen crater city. It has been quite a while since we've been on this city and worked on this city, so we are back and, oh, whoa, okay. Uh, <laughs> we are back and working on our crater city again. And so, I think last time we left off, we were working on our tourism -y area. And so, we shall continue, but probably not on the tourism -y area. What the? Did I really build it okay? Not sure why I built a road that goes all the way around like that, but okay. Ooh, apparently they like living here. I wouldn't want to live here. I hate the cold. I Oh, balls. I don't have any money because I'm in the negatives. What a lovely day for a walk in the park with the tourists. Right. I guess. I mean, it's not storming, so I guess it's a nice day. It's cold, though. I hate the cold. I'm not living in the best place for the cold, but I hate the cold. But everything does look pretty when it's covered in snow. It's a lovely little city we have here. Oh, there's a lot of people out walking around here. Whoa. Lots and lots of people. And apparently a lot of people waiting in line to go up into the tower to see over the city because it's a lovely view from the top of this tower. I mean, that gives you kind of an idea of what the view looks like from up here. It's a good view, if you ask me. I think it's a great view. But that's just my personal opinion. Well, we are making a lot of money now. So, as you can see, we are almost out of debt. Uh, so... Why did they make this light residential in a crater? Oh well, it's like its own little sheltered community down here in the crater. And then they can leave the crater into the bigger part of the city. It's actually kind of cool. I think, anyway, because, like, you're sheltered from all the noise of the city and stuff like that, and a lot of the light pollution, well, at least direct light pollution, and stuff like that down in a little crater like this, and when you're ready to go to the city, you just drive up and out of the crater, and you can go shopping. It's only, like, a five-minute drive to go shopping, or you can catch the bus and go shopping. I think it's kind of cool, personally. I don't know if I would... Well, I mean... What are the chances a meteorite is going to strike the same place twice? Because I don't know if that that's, like, ever happened that we know of on Earth. At least not anything this big. Maybe some little tiny ones. Maybe. But I don't know about any of that they're this big or leave a crater this big that would be... That would have hit twice. So I wouldn't mind living in a crater. I think it'd be kind of cool. As long as it's not a volcano crater. Because you never know when those things are going to go off. And that's the last thing I want to do is be in one of those when it goes off. Because, I mean, I don't want to die. It would be a good way to just go, boom, gone. Okay. Wow. Have we already bought all of the land? It looks like we have bought all of the land. Wow. Right. Okay. What a lovely day for a walk in the park with the tourists. Oh, it's such a lovely day, Smithers. Such a... Uh, yeah, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Such a lovely day. Almost there. Almost there. I want to build the big road out some more, but I don't think it has the monies. Oh, now I do. Okay. So, we're making many much monies. We're going to run this out just a bit farther here. Just like that. And then we'll put in Schmuller Shim Roads over here. Where, oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, dear. But I cannot go all the way because the snow dump is right there. But that's okay. We'll just go like that. Uh-oh. I think I just disconnected them from... Oh, no, I didn't. They got power. They're fine. They got power. They're fine. 
Does it have water heat? Oh, I gotta use the special pipes here because apparently we're supplying heat to the entire city as well, so they don't have to heat their own homes. But it is a public service, so they have to pay for it in their taxes. That's what you get when the city supplies you with something, you have to pay for it in taxes, whether you use it or not. That's the way it works. So we got some more houses going in. How is our water heating anyway? Yeah, we're good. I think we're all right as far as that goes. And then we'll run a small road from over here to over here because why not? And then we could actually build over here. Run some roads over here. There we go. Right. And we could put in some dense what? Commercial? Probably. We could throw in some dense commercial right there, actually. That wouldn't be a bad spot for it. I don't think. Is there water there? Yeah, they got water heating there. Oh, dear. Should probably put some water heating in over here before I start trying to build anything. There we go. That's better. That's better. Put in some dense residential over here. Because I can. It's pretty much the only reason. Because I can. So I'm going to do it. Okay, we got plenty of parks so far. How is our... Uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. We need to make sure they're all included in that district. Okay. And then this district. It's all residential. And then we'll just kind of extend it, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to put in a random one there. <laughs> So we'll just put that district. That's a big district. Holy freak. All right. Then. And there goes in some high density residential. Hmm. We could build another community down in this crater. Do we need police? What about fire? Oh, probably fire. Medical. No, the medical is still good, I think. Then again, maybe not. Death care is good. Medical apparently is not as good as I thought. So apparently we'll need a medical center right there. So there we go. We got us a medical center right there now. Fire. I mean, so far so good. I mean, none of the buildings are red or orange or anything or yellow. So I think we're good there. Maybe. And then on the opposite side of the street, we can put in the commercial. Commercial zoning. And then I guess we could zone in some more high density residential right here and right here. Because why not? People want to move into our city because it is amazing. And I mean, who wouldn't want to move into our city? It is a quite a nice city, and it is growing very, very quickly. Blends into the train really well, though. I mean, it is all white, so it blends in super well. But it is still there. There's just so much more stuff you have to worry about when you're the mayor of a city where it snows. Because you gotta take care of, like, the plowing and the heating. Well, you don't have to take care of the heating, but your electricity goes up if you don't supply it. So, there's that. But, then again, I guess you technically could make more money from it. I don't know how that works, actually. Not 100% sure on that one. Put in some light residential over here. Do we need more parks? Yes, we do. We always need more parks because I never put enough in. That's better. I mean, it's better than it was. Still could be better, though. But it is leveling up, so that is a good thing. We're getting some nice buildings going in. Our city is growing and expanding and becoming awesomer. That's not a word, but I'm using it. So there's that. We also have more demand for uh, industrial, but I'm kind of thinking I just want to put in, like, office buildings. So, I mean... I guess that's not necessarily a bad idea, right? 
Oh, no, we'll throw some office buildings in over here. Why not? And then we'll just zone this as commercial. And then, of course, we're going to need some more parks. Must supply parks for sit for citizens in my city. And the businesses, they need the parks as well. This whole area doesn't have anything. We'll put in some heavy, like, dense commercial there, and there, and there. Okay. It's just not being used, and so I'm like, um, uh, we might as well use it for something. Plus, we do have demand for commercials, so we might as well put it in, right? Right? Yeah. This whole little block is cool, though, because we got all kinds of awesome shit. We could put in some light commercial around it, too, actually, because I think there's some space for it. Oh, hello. So we can zone in some light commercial there. And then, oh, some super light commercial there. We'll see what goes in. It's definitely an interesting block, though. Some random business. I don't even know what the freak that is. Octopus. And then we got, oh, little tiny tower buildings going in. Nice. Little boutiques or something. I don't know. Kind of cool. This whole area is actually really cool. I like the way the designing is turning out for that. I like it a lot. Oh, no, they don't have water. I should have known. There we go. You're good. We got you. Oh, now they're leveling up a lot. Probably a lot higher land values when you actually have water s connected for your building. I would assume, anyways. Apparently, that's high in demand to have running water for some weird reason. Why you'd want running water in your building, I don't know. But these guys want it. And apparently, are quite happy with it. We have a lot of residential that has gone in and is continuing to go in. And level up. We definitely want it to keep leveling up, though. Alrighty, then. Could probably zone some more commercial in over here, maybe? Something. No, yeah, we can put in more commercial over here. We could zone in some commercial right there and right here. Some dense commercial. And... Throw in some light commercial in here. Why not? Why not? Might as well. Looking pretty good, though. I like the way this whole city is turning out. It's grown quite a bit already, though, and it's just in this one episode so far. It's grown a lot. Wow. And look at that. We went from negative, like, 200,000 when we started the video. Now we're at 800,000. Positive 800,000. So, we're doing good. We're making money. We're doing pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with it. How is our heating, anyway? Are we able to heat all of the homes? Oh, the temperature's dropping. Which means it's going to require more heating. Now we've got more buildings going in. They're going to require more heating. Mm. I think we're still okay so far. What a magnificent sight our team is. This is true. We won, obviously. That's why our citizens are all so happy, because our team won, which is awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. Wow. Our city is growing and expanding and becoming beautiful. It's beautiful. And I like it a lot. Very square, obviously, as most of my cities are. And if you watch a lot of my City Skylines videos, you'll know a lot of my cities uh, end up being very square. Oh, when did we put in a, this? Is anybody even using it? I don't feel like anybody's even using it. Maybe they are. There's just not a lot of planes at it. Maybe nobody wants to come into our freaking freezing city because it's cold and freezing. But then again, they might. I don't know. Some people like the cold, I guess. I don't. I'd rather it be hot than cold, but that's just me personally, so there's that. But, I mean, this is looking really good, and we've expanded a lot. May not look like a lot, but it has been quite a bit. So I'm very happy about that. Mm. 
We'll get some posh people moving in. Mm -hmm. And then they will love living in our city. And it will be amazing. What the freak? So it just says, a real supermarket. Okay then. That's cool. Sweet. Well, that's pretty awesome, you guys. Unfortunately, though, that is all I have time for it for in this video, guys. I can't talk today. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. And leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or ideas. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.